Good afternoon from beautiful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We are here and today we're going to show you around and show you what's new at the Mountain Mile in Pigeon Forge. We're going to show you some family friendly activities, fun for the whole family, show you the two newest stores that are fixing to open up and one's actually open now. We're going to go in and check it out for you, but we're here on the Mountain Mile. Come along and join us because you don't have to climb a mountain to see the view from here. It is gorgeous. So the first place that we've got to go is the newest store here in the Mountain Mile, and it's Sunnyland Farms. What do you say Sunnyland Farms is? Well, let's just say that uh, we're nuts about it. <laughs> just as Christy would say that I am nuts about her. Let's go in and check it out. Before we learn more about Sunnyland Farms, let's check out the inside, and then we're gonna get a tour. Stay tuned at the end of the video because we're going to tell you how to enter our 1500 subscriber giveaway from Sunnyland Farms and how to win. So we're in Sunnyland Farms. We're here with Tiffany today and Tiffany's going to kind of give you a, a visual tour of what's going on and some best sellers and we'll talk a little bit about some products, okay? All right. So Tiffany, uh, Right now, what are some of your best sellers and what have we got here? We've got a, a pretty good mix of things. Um, we have some of our beef jerky uh, straight from Southwest Georgia, which everybody tends to love, bringing a little bit of Georgia to Tennessee. Yes. Um, our royal mix and our heavenly mix are two of our top sellers. Uh, it's mixtures of, of different nuts within. Um, our heavenly is our top seller that has our mammoth pecans, our cashews, our macadamia nuts and our almonds in it. All right. Um, we also have a pecan oil that we push as well. Look at that, virgin pecan oil, yep. 100% pure. We also have our crunchy pecan granola that we make fresh at the farm. It's got a nice mix in there, some of our dried fruits yes. with our granola mix and a nice seasoning with it. Yes, okay. Um, our pecan butter is something else that we make fresh at the farm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love it. You can see that, yeah. And we've also got our famous Mayhaw jelly. The Mayhaw jelly. Which Heard is, a lot about that. Yes, it's a crab apple um, like fruit that grows in the wetlands of Georgia. Okay. Is so. it pecan butter sweet or is it just like an almond butter or cashew butter where it's like a, yeah, a I, nut butter? Yeah, just a nut butter. Okay. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't say it's very sweet. Now you also have cheese buttons and you have the brittles as well. Right? Yes. Yep, okay. we, got a, we got a nice mix of things. Yeah. Um, we also have our barks. Um, we've got our white almond bark, our milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and I don't have one in there at the moment. We also have a pistachio bark okay. that we do as well. Now you have the honey here. This is, this is gallberry honey? Yes. I'm not even sure that I've heard of that. That sounds amazing. Okay, pure and unfiltered. Now is this is this from Georgia? Yes. Local to Georgia honey, I like that. And we've got the caramel pecan. Is this like a, a seasoning? It, that is actually just a candle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a candle. It looks like a little salt and pepper shaker. Do you see that? So yes, but it's a candle. That's so cool. Okay. Over here, so this is basically a mixture of all of our dried fruits that we carry. Yes. Um, we've got them individually packaged as well as our fruit compote, which is a packaging of a mixture of all of them. Okay. okay. And of course, look here, my love. If you start in Albany, Georgia, you have to have dried peaches, I right? Absolutely. I love that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right. So continuing on down, the fruit compote. That's something I was interested in because there's so many different things in that. Right. Dried pears is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Now, coffee, Sunnyland Farm Special Blend. Look at that. So that's a mix between a medium and a dark. This is ground. This is ground. And then sun-dried apricots. Look at that. Oh, 
the pecan roulette. That's another mix that we have. That's got our, um, it's got our cinnamon, our orange frosted, um, and our chocolate pecan caramel clusters, as well as our pecan halves. Oh, that's amazing. This is all of our toasted and salted products that we have, mm -hmm. um, which is also back to our mixes, our Royals and Heavenly, as well as our Cashews Max. We've got shelled and in shell pistachios, almonds, Spanish peanuts, and our famous mammoth pecan halves. Yes. This would be the one I would get for you, love. I call you my sassy pants, so the salted sample would be just right for you. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese button. <laughs> yes. About. I am, well, I'm a cheesy guy, so cheese buttons will be perfect. The cheese buttons are great. Yes. You love that cayenne pepper kick at the end of it. Yes. And you guys do samples. Yes. Up front, we'll show you that. Absolutely. Well. Yep. The heavenly mix. Yes. Look at this. Toasted and salted. Pecan has cashews, macadamia nuts, and almonds. Look at that. I mean, I'm nuts about it. <laughs> and if it's for a minister, the heavenly mix. Yes. Could be my favorite. <laughs> it's not going to get you into that. It's not going to get you into that. That's right. So, Spanish peanuts and then, wow, look at all this. It's amazing that you guys offer such a variety of products. Well, we're, we're, we strive to, to offer a variety of things. Yes. These are our, this is our chocolates and sweets. Mm -hmm. So, we've got our clusters, our famous clusters. We've also got our famous milk chocolate almond toffee. Mm -hmm. This is our quartet of barks, so you see a little bit of everything. Yeah. So we have the, the almond bark, we've got the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate, as well as the pistachio bark. You know what, babe? This would be great for people coming to the National Quartet Convention. They should have the quartet ten. Yep, exactly. Four different <laughs> barks. I like that. We also have our cinnamon sugar and our orange frosted separately um, and then another big seller for us is our choco pecans milk chocolate and our sweet sampler is probably one of my favorites it's got a little bit of all the sweetness in it yes. um, including that pecan log in there so oh yeah, I see some pecan log here. Oh, yeah. everyone loves a pecan log you got um, it's it's fondant in the middle and then it's rolled in caramel and then rolled in pecan pieces. Very nice. Very and nice. then this is still a variety of the same nuts you've already seen, just unsalted um, or raw. Okay, excellent. So the raw chocolate. Yes, absolutely. And there's some dark chocolate. Oh, yes. All right, excellent. Okay. Sunny Lee on the farm, how do you say it? Pecan, 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 or pecan? Leave in the comments how you say it. Yes, I say pecan. I say pecan. I say pecan. Oh. I'm a Tennessee boy. <laughs> and then of course we have fresh baked goods. Oh. We do. Cookie cake. We have our cookie cake, which we just launched this year, um, as well as our gluten-free banana nut bread. I love fruitcake. I am a fruitcake, so I like fruitcake. <laughs> We've also got our famous um, pecan pie. Uh, pumpkin bread is actually one of my personal favorites. Absolutely love it. The limoncello the is, would be Christy's yes. favorite, I promise on that. So, four delicious barks here. Do you see this? Let's just say that if you get this for somebody as a treat, you're not barking up the wrong tree. But I'm punished. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm nuts about this place. What can I say? <laughs> I do want to try the cheese button. Yes. 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 Let me sample the cheese button. The texture of that is really, really nice. It's more like a cookie than I thought it was. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good though. I haven't gotten any complaints on it, so. Mm. It's got a nice little kick of spice at the end as well. Ooh, that little bit of, that mm -hmm. cayenne? That's cayenne. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that is. Like <laughs> okay, so it it does. It's a, it's a nice texture. It's not, it, you know how some cookies will have that little chalk? Yep. That does not have that. It's got a nice finish and then it does. It kind of 
hit you with a little bit of cayenne there, then yeah, that's nice. So. So this this uh, Farms has been around since 1948. 1948. Mail order business. Started in Albany, Georgia. Yep. Have over 1,700 acre orchard down there. Yes. Pecan trees. And you guys are the premier place for pecans and, and gift sets and everything now in Georgia. Yes, sir. I'm excited about this now. What? What have you handed me, my love? Oh, that is, cashews. That is our toasted and salted cashews. Toasted and salted. I love cashews. This is my favorite nut right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mama told me never to talk with my mouth full, but I wanted to right now. Because <laughs> it's really good. That's amazing. I mean, it's good. It's just, it's simple. It's simple, but it's, but it's just so good. And the size of those cashews, wow, that's really good. So you need to come up here and try out Sunland Farms if you're on the Mountain Mile. Come in, because I tell you, you are. You're going to be nuts about it. Thanks for talking with us, Tiffany. Yes. Absolutely, no so problem. Much. I told my baby there's no reason for her to feel so blue. Not when we're out here on the Mountain Mile on such a gorgeous day. So, it's time for lunch. Let's go in here to the newest eatery. Right here, we were here for the VIP event, but it's time for a full review. This is Azul, Mexican Canteen. Let's take a look around the main dining area in Azul. It is a very large, and spacious dining area, very elegant with the club chairs and table seating, as well as your booth and chair seating with the dolly mural. Isn't that pretty? And then we're gonna see the area where the food is prepared. You can see the countertop here, as well as the wood fire grill. And here is some beautiful entrees looking like they're going out to some happy customers. Check out this mural, feed me tacos, and tell me I'm pretty. You've also got your bar top seating as well as more of the club chairs and tables in the back side. And here is your bar that can give you anything that you possibly could want in the way of a cocktail. Baby? Yes? You don't make me feel blue at all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ready for lunch? I'm ready. Okay. Alright love, so for lunch today we're going to start out with a nice appetizer. These are the Esquites egg roll. So it's seasoned beef, roasted corn, there's pepper jack cheese, cotilla cheese, there's lime chili powder, they're a lote sauce, and they also have a nice avocado dressing on the side with lime wedge. Yum. Yeah. Okay, love, so I want you to try out this beautiful appetizer for us. Look at that. Yeah, okay, so that is. I can automatically tell you I'm going to like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I see corn and cilantro. Oh, yes. And those are two of my favorite things. You're a big cilantro fan. I am. Uh, I could eat it on anything, really, not just Mexican food. You're going to use the lime way. Grab a little huh? lime. Yeah. There. I'm gonna try it without the dip first. Oh, okay. Try the try it without the dressing first. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. <laughs> and try it with the dressing too. Now, of course, the lime adds extra twang. Yes. So if you don't like a lot of twang, you might not want to add lime. But I like. You like the acidity in that, right? I like the twang. <laughs> That's with the avocado dressing. You can see the inside there. Yeah. And it is piping hot. There's a nice feeling in that piping hot. I like it. I see um, peppers, chicken, I know beef, it's beef. <laughs> Corn, lots of great spices, and that shell. It's just nice and crispy and yummy. Okay. It's a good, it sums up for me for sure. Thumbs up. All right. I'll get into it in a minute. All right, handsome. 
like to tell me what you think about the Esquites egg rolls here oh, at Azul, a Mexican cantina. <laughs> that was quite the introduction. I like that. I'm going to try without the soft bird. I think you'll probably like it either way. You tend to not be as saucy as I am. I'm glad I didn't add the lime to it. Because the lime chili powder in that. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's what you're getting the twang from. And then you added lime to it. So, now let's try the dressing. dressing is necessary. What it does is it balances out all that flavor. Yep, with the cilantro yeah. and the spices. It's, it's very spicy and then all of a sudden it just cools down with the dressing. So yeah, that's an excellent, excellent appetizer. Yeah, I, I definitely like it. It's a good start. All right, honey. So I have the ancho dry rub ribeye. So this is a wood-fired open flame ribeye. That's an ancho chili compound butter on top. And then it's these beautiful seasoned potato wedges, the charl beans, and the Spanish rice. And for me, I've got the Mexican Diablo shrimp and grits, yes. which is grilled wild caught shrimp. And look at how nice those look. On queso blanco, Mexican grits topped with chorizo, enchilada sauce, cilantro oil, and microgreens. That really, really, really looks fantastic. Yes. Baby, I can see that you can't wait to cut into that steak there. You started without it. us. <laughs> yeah, so I asked for medium rare, and that's what we That have. is beautiful medium rare, that's for sure. That's a perfect medium rare. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get a big bite. It smells very good, and I, I probably say that a lot, but it really does. Now you need to smear some of that uh, ancho oh, chili that butter. Yeah, the compound butter on there. On there. Look at that. There yeah, you go. Yeah, those chefs will base their steak and butter. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> just ancho chili compound butter on He's top. He's like, just give me the meat, but you got yeah. you got a beautiful accoutrement there. Uh, yes, accoutrement. I like that. I like that word. So it has a uh, just the meat itself has a delicious flavor, but the dry rub on there, the it's the ancho dry rub, that is amazing. Try some beans here the charl beans and I'm going to try a little bit of the Spanish rice with the beans. Rice by itself would be a little plain but when you mix the rice and beans I think that's really how that's meant to be enjoyed. Sure. It's very good. So I'm curious though because you don't normally see potato wedges. Yes, yes. You don't normally see uh, potato wedges paired with a steak like this. And they look, they but look, they look really good. Really nice. I'm gonna dip them in the charro beans. You know, I bet. You know, I bet there ain't a crime in that. That's good. It's fresh. It's very, very good. I am definitely gonna have to try that steak. Yes. Alright dear, so you have the Diablo shrimp and grits. I do, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nice sized shrimp there. Yes. And you can see the, the grits and enchilada sauce. So I'll start with the shrimp. Try that shrimp, yeah, absolutely. Mm. You like that? There's a lot of wonderful Latino Mexicano flavor going on there yes. with the enchilada sauce and the chili oil. If you like flavor, this has flavor. It's got flavor, okay. 
I like that. So I'm going to try the grits with some of the enchilada sauce. You love uh, cheese grits. These are queso grits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's so good. Okay. Okay. Mmm. This was an excellent choice. Okay, now I want you, while I'm, while I have it here, to, to take your fork and grab your fork right there, because I want to. I'm gonna try that. I want you to try that ancho chili ribeye, but I want you to try some of that nice compound butter on top. Tell me what you think mm -hmm. about that. First of all, it's beautiful. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna. It is a beautiful. Not piece. be very ladylike about it. That's okay. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget about it. Amazing. That's a very tasty steak. Yeah. The meat itself yes. is perfect. It is, so isn't it? If, if you just like steak, mm -hmm. that is actually excellent. And that's, that's a, a good steak. sized piece of meat there. It is. And the ancho chili butter along with the, the dry rub. That looks like a 12 ounce ribeye. It's a flavor bomb. Flavor bomb. If you like flavor, both of these dishes, not even kidding, <laughs> that's what you order at Azul. So Flavor Cantina. Town is on the other end, and then we have a Flavor Bomb on this end. That's it, absolutely it. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, we were here for the grand, uh, the grand opening uh, the VIP, reception. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the VIP night, and of course you can go back and look at that video where we got to try a whole bunch of things. Yep. And we wanted to come back and do a proper review of Azul, yeah. um, not as VIPs, but as regular people right. um, who just wanted to try uh, the cuisine here. And I definitely feel like if you order off of the special of the house menu, yes. that is where you're going to be impressed yes. with the food here at Azul. Of course, they have your standard things like your burritos and your tacos, tacos quesadillas, yeah. Yeah. and all of that. And that's all very good. But both of these items are on the uh, Speciale de la Casa, or yes. de la Casa, which is the men, the house, house specials, special. and this is what they pride themselves in doing well with. Yes. So I, very nice. Yep. So the VIP thing, we will have a, a description. The link. Uh, the link uh -huh. down in the description, so you'll see that. You can go back. And that was that. a really, really fun night, and we thank the folks at Azul and Rachel. Uh, yeah, their, the their marketing. Uh, yes their marketing um, young, young lady. <laughs> yes. And, uh, but we wanted to try Azul just as normal people walking in at, an, at a, any time of day and just see what do we think. And Living up to it so far. I really, really enjoy this. Yes. All right. Well, let's go eat. All right. So, our server, McKinley, she was awesome. And, of course, she asked the ever-important question, do we want dessert? Well, we do. But as much as Azul has great desserts, we tried them during the VIP. So Christy has a place here that she really wants me to take her to. So we're going there after this. We'll see you in a little bit. Here's a quick overview of the menu at Azul. Feel free to pause or freeze if you want to see something closer. Let's take a little tour of all the places to visit in the Mountain Mile. To start out, we've got the Escapology, which is an escape room game. We've got the Hatley Boutique for ladies and children, as well as Collier House Creations, which has unfortunately closed down. and it is a children's boutique wow that's some really cute stuff if I get a bank a grandbaby girl oh looks like that boy stuff too I'm definitely gonna be coming in here we find out soon what it's gonna be 
then we've also got the Coffee Armory, which is by Black Rifle Coffee, and Bach Boutique, which is a ladies clothing boutique. I wish there was smell vision. Cute, cute stuff in the Bach Boutique. This is their second location. They have a, their original location up in Sevierville near the New Center area. Check out those cute Tennessee shirts. Oh, they're actually sweaters. Very cute. Cute, cute stuff. And here we have Junction 35 Distillery and Kitchen. They do have outdoor seating, so if you have a puppy or a doggy with you, you can eat outside. We did a full review of Junction 35 with an interview with their master distiller, Jake. Uh, just a few videos back, so if you go back on the channel, you can see that. Fall is here, and the evening are going to be awesome with these fire pits that are along the Mountain Mile. We've got the Mountain Mile General Store and Cream and Sugar Sweet Shop. Looks like the Mountain Mile General Store has some great t-shirts. I love the country music legends. Dolly, Patsy, Reba, and Loretta. Three of our chickens are named after that. I beg your pardon. Lots of great things it looks like in here. Mainly t-shirts, hats, and things like that. There's some great shirts for the fellas or not the fellas. A girl can like cars too. Here we are in the cream and sugar sweet shop. And it's everything that it says it will be. Cream, sugar, squishmallows, and lots of sweets. Look at all of those truffles. Truffles for miles, y'all. I think there's every flavor you can think of here. But this is not where we're stopping for dessert. What shopping complex would be complete without Toy Town? Well, the soon-to-be grandma in me gets excited coming into a toy store. Looks like they have a great selection of great toys that will challenge the imagination of the kiddos. The Slate Horses. More Squishaboos, Smokey's Opoly. That actually looks fun. And there we have a T Rex. Arr, arr, arr. So these actually look like a lot of fun. They're different scents of slime. They've got Easter Sherbet, Unicorn Fluff. Frosting, bubblegum butter, strawberry banana, mango, astronaut, tropical twist. My daughter, who's a grown lady and about to become a mama, would probably still love this. Next up on the Mountain Mile, we've got the Savannah Bee Company and the Spice and Tea Exchange. 
So Savannah Bee Company is where you can find all kinds of specialty honeys as well as teas and drinks. So I admit it, the Spice and Tea Exchange is one of our favorite stores. And again, smell of vision is necessary. Good, thank you. Oh, all the time. This is one of my favorite restaurants. Or not restaurants. <laughs> well, you know, you can make a restaurant out of what you have in here. <laughs> No, I love to get spices from y'all. But right now we're putting you on our vlog, Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. Hi, <laughs> we're kind of covering the mountain mile today. Well, since you're here, so we are Do you want to tell us about the Spice and Tea Exchange? Absolutely. So it's a really cool place. We actually hand package 100% everything here. It's so fresh. wonderful. It just smells so good. Well, thank you. That wall behind you that says Custom Blends, we're one of the few stores out of the many of us that are around. Yes, there are a lot. I've been to many. <laughs> yeah, we still make fresh 90% of our stuff here. Very so it's nice. It's all made fresh here and blended here and grinded and put together, including some of our teas. And at this location and some of the many others, we have a tea bar, so you can actually uh, make anything hot or icy. Nice. So take a look around, and you're more than welcome to big jars, wooden lids, open them and smell and. Stuff oh, I I have done my share of that for sure. I like it. Where are you from? Here, Spearville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're local vloggers, and we were just doing some coverage on the Mountain Mile, and thought we would do a little spotlight of each store. Thank you. No. So, honey. Is there something you want to tell us? I have a confession to make. Yes. I have to tell you all something publicly. Okay. What is it? I needed to come here for dessert. Yes. Because I'm a raging cineholic. Okay. Well, then let's go in and take care of that craving that you have. Because this is cineholic gourmet cinnamon roll. Well then, well then, let's go in. And a gentleman always opens the door for his lady. Look at all those delicious cinnamon rolls, but we are here for the Look pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. Cinnamon roll. So something that I love about Cineholic is that they take prayer requests and they would love to pray for you and they also honor our fallen soldiers. And you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Deuteronomy 28.6 Anytime the Lord is honored, I feel right at home. All right, honey, tell us what's on this pumpkin cheesecake cinnamon roll from pumpkin Cineholic. Pumpkin cheesecake roll, yes. This is their newest flavor. Of course, we're in fall season, and they've got it nicely decorated in here, and of course they've got this beautiful pumpkin cheesecake roll, which has pumpkin cheesecake frosting. It's topped with these pumpkin cookie bites, which we got the cookie too marshmallows and then it has a dusting of their brown sugar cinnamon mix very nice and you also got us a cookie right so the pumpkin cookie we got it just to try available for a limited time only <laughs> yes but that is also what's on the cinnamon roll so what you're saying is that not only am i a raging cinnamon holic i'm a raging pumpkin holic too I'm not going to say that. What I was going to say is, is, if you're a raging Santa Hunt, then that makes me kooky a monster. Oh my goodness. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> All right, my raging Santa Hunt. <laughs> yes. So you're a member of CA? Uh, Cinehalic yeah. Thomas? Probably so. But you're not anonymous anymore. <laughs> no. Okay. So take a bite of this pumpkin cheesecake roll. I have a question first. Sure. 
serious question. Oh. Do I have to share? <laughs> well, no, I have my cookie. Uh, I'll be nice and share. You'll be nice and share? Yeah. Oh, you know, sharing is caring. I, I care. It's always nice to share. But being a raging cineholic, I, uh, this is really a difficult thing. Yes, well, I learned it was nice to share in kindergarten. <laughs> okay, so I just kind of wanted to show. Yep. Oh. An inside shot. It looks amazing. If I can get it in there. <laughs> of these wonderful cinnamon rolls. Ooh. That's not a good shot. We're not doing so well. We're, we're not. Nothing artful <laughs> about this. <laughs> no. That's okay. That's because you're ready to devour dessert. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. You can see the oopy yes. goopy cinnamon. Oh, the cinnaholic. The cinnaholic in me is taking over. I can't wait. <laughs> I know I'm not funny, but it's okay. No, you are funny. That's funny. That's a big bite. It is a big bite. I don't know if I can... Hold on. I need I to, re re I need to reconfigure my bite. Yeah. Think you can fit that whole thing in your mouth? I'm not going to because I want to... What do I do? I build the bite. You build the bite. I needed some of the marshmallow and some of the pumpkin cookie. Yes. I get a fork twirl and warp speed. <laughs> oh, yes. Where have you been all my life, right? So and if yes, you are a cineholic like I am. Yes. And you like pumpkin. Yeah. And you do taste the pumpkin and the spice. Okay. And the marshmallows just kind of just add that extra oomph. That is so good. Okay. I'm not kidding. That's really, really so good. So you know I'm more of an apple guy during the fall. Yes, you Matter are. In fact, I always say, what do I say? Ugh, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin everything in the fall. I don't mean to poo-poo it, but it's just, you know. Now they also have a cinnamon twist. The, yes. Yes. I Which the Cineholic in me is, is disappointed in myself <laughs> that I turned my back on the cinnamon twist in favor of the pumpkin but there's always another day there is <laughs> so. i'm gonna try the pumpkin cookie here in a minute and i will try a bite of the roll too so i don't know if i'm sharing yet i'll let you know okay you can let me know maybe okay all right guys i'm still chewing <laughs> cinnamon roll mama said not to talk with your mouth full <laughs> my mama said but that. it is that good <laughs> All right, cookie monster, cookie. Now you're not really a pumpkin guy. Okay. I mean, no. you like pumpkin, but you're not like you know. I don't know pumpkin crazy. crazy. You would never see me have a pumpkin spice latte at fall. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> I just not me. <laughs> but no. you wanted to try the pumpkin cookie. A pumpkin cookie it sounds good. Plus, it looks very soft. I have a cookie monster. Is it soft? Soft, look at it. Looks Watch soft this. and chewy. You ready? You ready? Oh, for the camera. Slow mode. I'm breaking it apart. Look at that. So it's very moist. Uh, it's, it's, it's not juicy. No, but I can't say that word. You said it. I didn't say it. That's right. Hey, for anyone that knows Brooks, moist Ugh. is his least favorite word. Terrible word. Whoever invented that drug out in the street. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, it's pretty violent for the one word. For, for a minister. I apologize for that. Lord, I apologize <laughs> for that right there. So. Try the me, cookie. Try the cookie. Ooh. This time we're <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> cookie pieces flying nothing. everywhere. Now I gotta go back for setting up. I can already tell you. I know it's good because I've had chunks of cookie in this pumpkin cheesecake that is delicious it's so good it's just seriously i wish i had like a dozen of these and i'm not i am not the pumpkin guy but so cookie monster here he is the pumpkin man the pumpkin oh wait that's muffin man never mind i could sing for you now hey i just met you 
and this is crazy, but I got cookie, so I'll share it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Alrighty, I think I'll share the cinnamon roll. Okay. Okay, I've decided to share, but don't you dare eat that center. <laughs> uh, I'm an outsider. I'm going outside. <laughs> <laughs> so guys he really is like this in real life <laughs> like this is really who he is and how he is I do this whether all there's day. a camera or not there are puns <laughs> and jokes about everything and sometimes I have to say bro let, let me be the cool dad for just a minute okay this is me all day every day <laughs> Sometimes I have to tell him to, to take, she says, take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. <laughs> take it down a notch. She's like, you're turned up right now. Turn it down. So, and I will be really turned up after some Santaholic. So, yeah, she has to go home with me. You're extra happy today for some reason. I am. I am extra happy. Because you just not? had steak and now you're eating cinnamon roll. Steak and cinnamon roll. Got great stuff at Sunnyland Farms. Uh, I mean, I'm nutty enough without going in there. Have him help him. Help him, Jesus. Please help him, Jesus. Help him, Lord. Help me. Are you ready? I'm, I've been ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yes. That makes me rethink. It really is ridiculous. That makes me rethink pumpkin altogether. I think they have uh, they've won me over in the Battle of Pumpkin. They really have nailed it with the spices. It's not overbearing, not too much nutmeg or any any other pumpkin spice that you are in there. They, they've just nailed it. It's just good. Ah. So just to hammer the point home, they nailed it. <laughs> I think it's time to take you home. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Blades, which is a knife store, and Pepper Palace. Blades is closed right now, but we will give you a peek inside Pepper Palace. Just browsing. If you're looking for hot sauce of any kind, you can find it in Pepper Palace. Brooks and I are actually a very... Brooks and I are actually a big fan of the seasonings here at Pepper Palace. The Chesapeake seasoning is awesome. Yes, it is. We also love the wing sauces here at Pepper Palace. There is not a bad one in the bunch. Got your grill sauces. I got you. And your hot sauces. You want to try something for us, Brooks? Sure. All right, honey, what you going to try? We're going to start mild and work down the hot. Watermelon barbecue sauce. Apparently, you know the watermelon crawl here. <laughs> And you ain't gotta drive through Georgia. That's intriguing. I'm curious about it. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> it tastes like exactly what you think watermelon barbecue sauce would taste like. Huh. It's actually really good. <laughs> That's weird. It's weird because you got like the freshness of the watermelon, but then it's like sweet barbecue. Kind of kind of comes at you a little bit. Give me just a little. You want to try a little bit of that? Okay. I'm curious. No, let's get you a little bit there. Yeah. Any other? That is wild. <laughs> that is wild, isn't it? There's like a smokiness, but yeah, you taste watermelon. It's wild. That's really wild. Very cool. Yes. There you go. Okay. I'm going on down. Peach Serrano hot sauce. Right? I'm sure that's good. This one's more. Ooh. 
Oh. That one's medium. Yeah. The, the you feel the heat. Right <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice flavor. That's a nice flavor. Now, we didn't win. But I still want some gator swamp gas. <laughs> Not that I need gas. We also have gator bite yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather do the gator bite. Nobody needs swamp gas. <laughs> it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. I really want to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. Restrain yourself. This one's a little bit thicker. And that one worries me a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I see you sweating. Why are you sweating, honey? <laughs> and for the grand finale, you didn't have anything to say about that. I don't got nothing to say about it except <laughs> it's a little warm. I think that you you might not want to do this. Are you ready? I guess I'm ready. I have to go home with you. The sweeter reaper okay. hot sauce. I guess think it's sweet and will make you reap. I mean, I hope that that's what it does. Reap what you sow? No. I'm gonna reap what I sow on this. I can already tell. <laughs> Whoa. I would not I smell that. I would not take a lot of that. I done I already did. Look at that. That's a little spoon. You're out of your mind. I'm crazy. Where? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Sorry to laugh, but you did it to yourself, man. I did it to myself. So here's the deal with that, okay? It starts off sweet, and then all of a sudden it goes and just hits you right in the mouth. Well, you're still talking, so it can't be that bad. <sighs> no, that one's rough. The only one I'm not going to do is the extreme. Cause I see the reaper there, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, look at this. This doesn't even really need a label. It just says Voodoo Reaper. Voodoo Reaper. You know. Voodoo Reaper. You don't have to do so it. If so. you like hot sauces, come on in. You like hot sauces, you like seasonings, you like barbecue. Wing sauces. Wing we love sauces. their wing sauces. Anything that you need. See, uh, see we also have sauces. salsas, which you can try here. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we, we'll do that then. Pepper Palace is your place. Yeah, we absolutely. We actually get a lot from Pepper Palace, and they usually always have a buy three, get one free. Look at that. All right. Can I'll do. try some of these? I'll try them. You want to try these? Let's yeah. try these. All right, love, you're trying salsas, yes, right? Yes, I've got... Which one you got first? The pineapple mild. Pineapple mild. And you can see a chunk of pineapple there. Oh, yes, you can. Very nice. Yes. Ah, you're a fan? That's very good. Okay. Okay. If you like pineapple and salsa, there it is. Mm -hmm. This is the original mild. Original mild salsa. That does actually have a little kick for being mild. Okay. Um, Flavor is okay. Yeah. Not my favorite. Okay. It's okay. You got two more to go here? Black bean and corn, which is a medium. And if the mild is a mild, I don't know. You're not I mean, sure about the medium yet? I don't know if I'll be trying the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> you don't try it, I'll try it. I'll give it a shot. I like the black bean and corn. And to me, that doesn't I knew taste you would. as hot. I knew you would. You're not going to try the Reaper? I'm not trying the Reaper. Okay, I'll try the Reaper. Okay. All right. Okay, you're going to try the Reaper, Reaper salsa, salsa, which is obviously hot. I'm going to fear the Reaper here in just a minute. Are you ready? You might fear driving home with you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sunroof open. Sunroof activated. Ready? Oh, dang, son. <laughs> it starts out real tomatoey, right? And Which you're like, you oh, that's not bad. And then it just, I mean, it's, it does. It just knocks you right in the back of your mouth. But it's got great and you're flavor. you're sniffing, so it's got to be hot. It's got great flavor, though, to be so hot. Yeah. It doesn't, like, kill you. It doesn't kill your palate. So that's yeah. nice. Well, I like you, that. You live, so I guess that's good. 
I made it through the Reaper challenge, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now let's make it home. Yeah, let's make it home. All right, friends. Final thoughts on the Mountain Mile, Azul, Cineholic. Yep, Pepper Palace. Pepper Palace and all the stores that we went by. Sunnyland we, Farms. Sunnyland Farms was great. Uh, thank you, Tiffany, for talking with us and showing uh, all your uh, scrumptious and delicious products. Yes. yes. Uh, Azul which we have done a video on, but not a full review. Our VIP event uh, review will be in the, uh, the link is down in the description for you. But we're looking forward to bringing you the full review, as you'll see here. It's, uh, Tell us what you thought of Azul. Azul, so, you know, here's the problem. I've seen some bad reviews of Azul, but people go there and they get tacos. You don't can get so tacos and quesadillas anywhere. Anywhere. You don't you go, go to Azul for the tacos. No. The house special, that ancho raro ribeye was simply amazing. Uh, the beans and rice together is a winning combination. Uh, the potato wedges, everything. The What was that? The esquites egg rolls? Uh, yeah, they were really good. The egg rolls were excellent. I like uh, the crispiness of the shell, and it was dif it was different than really dressing. anything. Yeah. We think with that avocado dressing, that was really good stuff. I so. actually could even just eat those without anything. Yep, absolutely. So that that was a that was a great lunch for us. I'll talk about the shrimp and grits, although I I kind of you got my facial expressions if you watch. <laughs> that is the reason to go to Azul. Truly, that is the reason that you go to Azul, is for the specials in the house. Um, you know, maybe their their standard, standard standard items like your tacos, your burritos, and things like that might not be much different than where you would go elsewhere. You know, other Mexican or Tex-Mex restaurants, but. What Brooks and I had with the specials of the house is the reason that you go. That is why you go. To yeah. Azul. So that was delicious. I would go there. I would get that again. Absolutely yes. for, yes. for sure. Um, Cineholic. Again, if you watch the video, you already know. Raging Cineholic. I'm a raging Cineholic and it was so good. And I did I eat it. That. I did share, but I ate it. She did a good job with that. I did. Uh, we we always enjoy Pepper Palace. Great seasoning, salsas, barbecue sauces, wing sauces. Check out the and Chesapeake what not. Yeah, we, we like that if you eat seafood. Um, I enjoyed peeking into some of the other stores. Um, the escape room looks fun. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Um, the... Yeah. Con Conyers is actually closed no, down. Call your, house. call your house. I'm sorry. Is actually R I P. Call your house. Closed down. Permanently closed. So that that's a little disappointing. While we're talking about what's new at the Mountain Mile, we're also talking about what's going out. Yeah. Mountain apparently Mountain. they they didn't do too well, and that's sad. But I never actually got to go in there. So yeah, we did not. We did not get to go in there. Um. Spice and Tea Exchange, thank you for the nice little talk with us there to their nice employees. We are big fans of Spice and Tea Exchange. Of course, we're cooks, so, you know, Pepper Palace and Spice and Tea are our jam. Yes. And, um, I'm a tea man. Crumble Cookies is coming October 6th. Crumble Cookies, we told you about that. Maybe we'll be there. Yes. Um, also, something that I want to talk about. So, out at the Mountain Mile here, something that's very important for people to know, we get a lot of questions on our Facebook page. Uh, if you haven't, if you're subscribed to the channel, but you haven't looked at the Facebook page, go look at that because we try to give you as much up-to-date information as we can there. Uh, and then, of course, if you're on our Facebook page and you're seeing this and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we want you to do that also. But all that to say is that. This is a very dog-friendly place. Yeah, we're Please looking forward to bringing Mo and Georgia and eating maybe outside at Junction 35. Yes, yes. And uh, just enjoying the area because just sitting here and enjoying the atmosphere 
Yeah. The it's fire pit, the, the games, um, the cornhole. <laughs> they've got a chessboard, they've got cornhole, they have um, little jungle gym board. areas like a like yeah. a, you know, you could walk this and get it, get your workout as yeah. well. Did with we the, still in the waterfall? I did. I, it's in some of the B-roll that, that yes. we got. So. And also, in the, in the pond at the bottom, they've got koi fish in the, in the waterfall. It's a really nice feature over there. And there's benches where you can actually sit and look at the koi fish in the pond. It's a very relaxing place out here. It's just nice. I bet see. it's even nice at night. We need to come in the evening oh, at sometime. Night. At night, it's absolutely gorgeous. And Remember watch, and right watch the people on the mountain monster. The mountain monster looks fun. So you've got rides, you've got games. Look at that thing, it Look goes way thing. up there. Yeah. I will do it one day, I promise. Yes. I have to lose enough weight to get on it. That's gonna happen one day, I promise. So not if we keep being being Cineholics. Not if we keep being raising Cinehawks, that's right. But <laughs> anyway. Now there is, there's so much fun out here for dogs, for families. We get asked that a lot. You know, what's a good dog? This is actually place? just a great place to hang out. If you can't get into the island and the parking and everything is a little yeah. bit hairy over there. It's great. This over is a there. nice place to let your kids run around and you've got all that back there. Yes. Where with it's like AstroTurf that it you is. can just hang out and we've seen Turf. families just sitting down and enjoying yep. some time together. Yep. Um, at Junction 35 on the Dimension, their newest flavor in there is if you're a coffee fan. Cold they brew. Have cold brew coffee. Mushroom. Very good. Uh, and of course, uh, Jake talked to us about that. We've got a link for the Junction 35 uh, video down in the description as well. So we've reviewed a lot here at the Mountain Mile lately, and of course we're looking forward to Trouble Cookies. Thanks again to Tiffany at Sunnyland Farms, but should we talk about the giveaway? Uh, we should. We should. It's a little unconventional 1,500 subscriber giveaway. So thank you to the 1,500 of you who have put your trust and views into watching our entertainment. Are we entertaining? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever we are. <laughs> Maybe we are entertaining. Info vlogtainment. <laughs> I like that. So. I like that. So. Tell them about the uh, giveaway. With Sunnyland Farms being the newest shop that's opened now uh, at the 1500 subscriber mark for us, Sunnyland Farms, uh, of course, they've got everything here in their retail store, but. They do a lot of online orders, and of course, we're getting close to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Of course, so, you want all of that good stuff on your yes. table. So. Or on your charcuterie board. <laughs> yes. So, we don't want to just give you a slice of the Smokies, right? We want to give you the whole pie. So. What we want you to do is go down in the, the, in the comment section of this video and we want you to comment, we want pecans from Sunnyland Farms. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna randomly in a live stream coming up soon, we are gonna pick a winner from that and then we're gonna have Sunnyland Farms send you a whole pumpkin pie. No, nope, it's a pecan, pecan pie. pie. I said pumpkin. You got pumpkin on the brain, bro. Well, I just had pumpkin, which I normally don't, so. It's a pecan pie. Yes, it's the whole pecan pie. So. Yes, it's, a, it's like a 10 inch pie. Yeah, it's huge, and. So you will have a pecan pie for your holiday, whatever you want, Thanksgiving yep. or Christmas. You just yeah. have to let us know so we can get it ordered for you in time. Yep, and get it sent to you. So we'll have that on, the, on an upcoming live stream. But we do want you to comment that in the video uh, description down here in the comment box. Who doesn't like pie? I love pie. <laughs> Regardless. So, this has been such a fun day out here with my love. That's me. Yes, she is my love. And it's just wonderful all the way around. You gotta get out to the Mountain Island Pigeon Forge. So much going on. Looking forward to Crumble Cookies opening up. But if you like this video, we want you to give us that thumbs up. And of course, we want you to subscribe to Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun if you haven't already. We're well on the way to 2000 now. And looking forward to more. That's right. 2000 and beyond. So. Maybe we'll give away a cake. 
Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what we'll give away? I think, really I think I'd think i like to win a pie. <laughs> you like to win a pie? I love the comp pie. Eat you a pie. It's fine. So, but of course we do want you to comment on that. We told you what to comment now. And we'll leave that right here at the bottom for you. But in the meantime, guys, we just want you to know how much we love you. We appreciate you all. And more importantly, we want you to know God loves you. Because he really does. He really does. So, folks, for now, that's going to do it for us. I'm Brooks. Christy. We love you all. God bless you. And we can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.